TopZing.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I've got a bottle of beer from Tool in Denmark. It's a bottle of their spilt milk. Boys don't cry over spilt milk. It's a formidable. <laughs> Where is the ABV? 13% ABV. Imperial Milk Porter. Milk Stout, whatever you want to call it. So obviously you know um, salt milk, which is a barrel aged um, Imperial Milk Stout, aged in whiskey barrels. From all accounts this isn't a barrel aged version, all the information I've been looking for it doesn't say anything about barrel aged, but salt milk is. I mean there's a, there's a variety on this kind of like this this theme, which is like an Imperial Milk Stout. Um, this one, they say, call me cynical, that they let it boil for like four hours. So therefore it, it kind of reduced and become a lot more intense. Uh, and a lot, le lot less of it and stuff like that. I mean, they have, the reason why I'm saying I'm cynical because they've done a beer with um, uh, Buxton a while back called um, Long Time No See, and that was the same situation. They said, oh, we forgot about it, and we let it boil for hours. They might have done something tells me they haven't. But I believe you, Tor and, um, and Tobias. <laughs> Tor. Wow, look at that. That's, that's, that. I can barely get my finger in that. It's such a high fill on that. Impressive. As a Yorkshireman, I appreciate the value. The value for money. I'm going to pour a okay. oh, Look at that. Oh, it's pouring beautifully. I'm a massive fan of salt milk. The Yule milk was very good as well. Be careful, because I presume it's bottle conditioned. <coughs> and I'll come back to that later on. It's a big old beer, so it's going to be the rest of my evening is this beer. <coughs> Bin. Oh, actually, it's always got some silly little thing on to all the labels. It's great. It's spilled milk. Sometimes you spill, and that's okay. Boiled it for four hours to make an intensely rich, smooth porter loaded with lactose. Enjoy. Don't cry. <laughs> so, beer in the glass. Yeah, black as night. The head is so tight and creamy. It looks great. I mean, it looks stunning. Look at the creaminess of that head. It it's like a glass of Baileys. Anyway, let's check out the aroma. Oh yeah. Getting a lot of <coughs> licorice and oh, a lot of booze, a lot of kind of varnishy notes, that alcoholic note in that. It's more kind of like, it's fruity, it's more kind of dried fruits, plums as well, dates. Marzipan, dark chocolate covered with marzipan, but I mean it is, it's a bit of a one note wonder on the, on the nose, slightly woody, boozy and alcoholic, that's the thing that really kind of like, and dark cherry as well what leads the show, fruity, cherry, boozy, let's dive in, cheers. Mm. That is so full, oh. <laughs> That's one thing I love about a big Imperial Stout. It's got that massive, full-bodied kind of like consistency as this buzz. This is like drinking double cream just out of the drink. <laughs> just like that. It's so thick. I don't think I've had a beer quite as thick. It's insane. That's really full. Flavour continuing where I left off, I'd say slight kind of hint of like a slightly bitter cherry, marzipan, there's a chard note in there as well which reminds me of kind of like barbecue coals, oh it's good, it's black, black forest gatto, hint of rum, warming alcohol, licorice, so much body to it, it's insane. And that creamy head really kind of like, it really kind of adds to the experience. It's so full, so big, really tasty. I'd always go sweeter, actually loads of mascavado, loads of kind of um, brown sugar, it's that. That's the sweetness you get from it. Which sure the chard, slight creme brulee, for me, I always, I'd always go kind of chocolate, coffee, caramel, milky sweeter kind of things. But this does edge more towards the kind of Christmas cake, dried fruit type affair, and um, kind of licorice. But there's enough in there that I still really enjoy it. Mm. 
that body. Good lord, that's thick. Oh. Oh, oh. What a beer. And the ABV is 13%. It's a big old beer. So that would, might be different, difficult to drink. But because that body, it really kind of helps it along and helps it a very enjoyable drinking experience. On a th Sunday night, as this is a Sunday night, as recording this, I do like a big Imperial Stout, and this is a monster, but it doesn't feel like a monster. It's not abrasive, it's beautifully done. Tasty as hell, so that is sp spilt milk, 13% ABV. Time, what they call it, they call it a long time boiled Imperial Milk Porter, 13%, big boy, tasty stuff. From Total and Denmark, stunning. I'm Rob from Hopsy.com. I will see you next time. Cheers.